I have uh, I have a um, question to ask and just a comment. Okay. Okay, my comment is I'm listening to everybody coming in, calling in, and, 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 and I was in that predicament they was in. The first thing, you got to get out of victim mentality. Yes, they lied. Yes, they falsified documents, did whatever they did. And, and I realized I had to get out of victim mode. Ladies, let's see. Let me look at the screen and let's talk to Tamika from California. Tamika, did you have a story to tell or a question to ask? I have uh, I have a um, question to ask and just a comment. Okay. Okay, my comment is I'm listening to everybody coming in, calling in, and, 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 and I was in that predicament they was in. The first thing, you got to get out of victim mentality. Yes, they lied. Yes, they falsified documents, did whatever they did. And, and I realized I had to get out of victim mode because I had to fight back. You know, um, I couldn't afford a lawyer. So what I did was I started learning the law. I filed JV 180, JV 285. My question is, one of my questions is, um, I have, um, I have civil rights people involved. So I can't talk too much about it because it's all it's an investigation as we speak. They um, they put cases on two of them and talking to eleven of them. Um, they switch stuff up. People can't be there. Whatever, whatever they do for whatever they do. Now my question is because not only do I have video footage of them lying, I also have documents they falsify. But every time I try to go to court, they delay. My story is lies and delays. That's it. So when they um, when I went to be the foster parent and they rescinded me three days after I got it and came and took the other baby for nothing, I went to uh, I called the civil rights I called everyone I was calling to figure out what do I do because I was in that confused moment to where you just feeling like what's going on. So um, what I did was call the child's advocate and they was helping me with the file. So my question is, once if the civil rights find that what they did, which all the evidence I have, um, can I bring that back in court? Because they closed the case uh, with no, um, what they call it, no um, prejudice. And I'm the de facto parent. So that means I can still open it up because the case was closed back in December. And um, they didn't give me my rescinded till court case was over. And when I tried to send it to, they wanted me to send it to OAH to wait for my hearing, but I knew I wasn't going to get fairly treated because I just not, I just happened to. You're not going to treat me bad this time and get there. And they was just too comfortable about me sending it to OAH. So I sent it to the state. Now, the state is out of jurisdiction, but they can see the case. So two days before I was supposed to go in, and I would have been able to stop my grandson getting adopted, they saw, they uh, they filed a purification saying they talked to their lawyers, filed a purification, got me on another delay, and said you're out. That's not your jurisdiction. We'll take care of it and put me at the bottom of the barrel. Um, and I know the state can hear it because the state said we can hear it because they sent me a letter. But we need to know in 15 days what is it um, that why should we hear your case. So I sent in all my paperwork. I looked up the law and I tried to copy them when they put in codes. Because one thing I heard the lady say on there was the judge don't listen. The judge can know they're lying. But if you don't have a lawyer putting that paperwork, filing them motions, them JV agents, and you're not putting it into a jurisdictional court way how the court talks, you the judge has the judge is just somebody that's there. They don't know either side. You have to prove all that. The judge can't say she looks nice and she don't look like she'll hurt a fly and say, give her a kid. She has to look at the evidence. 
evidence and why you're around playing victim and war with me and keep talking to that doggone worker, you will get nowhere. Like he said, you have to fight. If your lawyer don't call you, it's a reason behind that. I, my personal belief is that they, these people work together every day. I wouldn't be surprised if they go to Christmas parties with each other. I wouldn't be surprised if they go to vacations with, the, with each other. They're a family. That's what it say. Resource Family Association. They just didn't want me a part of their family. And boy, are they good. But after I got out of that victim mode and started gathering my evidence, every time I try and show it, they delay it. So I know I got something. I got the silver bullet. They sent the lady, the lady who, that's what I want to ask you. They sent the lady to my house and, and um, she came here when she came to get my grandbaby. By the time the paperwork got to the court, um, this lady wasn't the one that came to my house. And not only that, they said that the lady that they said came to my house said we was coming out of my house and I was high, but I have ring all around my house and I have her on camera <laughs> so i said so when the when um the state asked them for their evidence that's when they filed the verification because they seen my evidence because we're supposed to see each other right once well, they well, see well, that they well, pulled well, it out hold on a second so do i if i win this case which i know i am and they're going to find them they can't help me get my kids back they already said that they can just find them guilty can i file either a, J a jv388 or a jv180 to give the judge the information that they, I know they're not going to give them the answer, are the results from the civil rights? The answer is yes. However, I want you to call Miss G at my office and talk to her about setting up a meeting because if half of what you're saying is true, you have a huge civil rights case against these people. Yes, sir. That's why I'm not a victim no more. God was with me the whole time. And when you're fighting with the devil, you need more armor. I had the evidence all along, but I had to get out of victim. That's why I tell all your callers, get out of that victim mentality and do something about it. Get a lawyer. I was thinking that was bad at first. I'll admit, but no, it's right. You have to know their language or it's not going to, it's not going to happen. Period. You got to either do what I do and know how to file and do this as much as you can. That's why I want to wait for that paperwork, because if I go in there and show the judge that, they're going to fight that I don't show the judge that. Tamika, I would, <laughs> so, I would suggest that you not wait and you talk to a lawyer as soon as possible. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. I just got to figure it out. I can't afford one, but I don't know what to do. I'm going to try my best. She said something about the funding in New York. I didn't catch the first name. Um, the other lady that was on, I believe she was the oh. Facebook or the social media. Oh, you're talking about Miss G. Yeah, she said something about, I just got the call funding in New York, but she said they helped with some of the calls. Oh, yeah. Or that's, what, that's why I and said. I know I got a case. That's why I said tomorrow or Monday, call my office and ask to speak to Georgette. Okay. She's, she's one I of the number your email and all that. I'm ready. I just wanted to say that. I felt the need to really say that. Please, y'all, get out of that victim mentality. You got to fight. You got to fight. Got to. Tamika, I want to thank you for calling and thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. And, you know, four or five weeks, please call us back and update our um, listeners on how your case and how your fight is going. You know, I find mm -hmm. it, I find it just a pleasure that you have evidence on video through your ring oh, camera mm -hmm. system. Me too, because they cause they trying to shut me up. So I know I got something. But right now, they being, um, it's about 11 people getting up out them chairs and going to sit over there while them angels, them civil rights people going in there, shaking them up. And, and right now, and mm -hmm. I am, I, and I got evidence because I've been sending her evidence for nine months. Yeah, there's going to be, there's, when we finally yeah, talk, yeah. when we finally talk, we're going to talk about perhaps filing a complaint with the federal government, Department of Fair, mm -hmm. excuse me, the Department of Health and Human Services, filing a mm -hmm. complaint with the U.S. Department of Justice, and also a civil rights complaint in the federal court system. So please give and us a call. The person named that two minutes took my grandbaby, shouldn't her name be on those court documents? Oh, yeah, they are. And I'll and she's on the back talking about this, not my I got a video of her said this, not my case. Uh, she this, not my case. I remember her from three years ago. That sounds like I don't, why is you here? She's I got her on recording on my ring, right? Well, my ring. 
Okay, Tamika, I look forward to talking to you. Don't forget to call Georgia. I'll call you Monday. All right, thank you. You oh, got it. All right. Hey, Jennifer, what'd you think about that? She has a ring video camera system at her home. I love it. Everyone should have one. Every person in the United States should have a ring camera. You know, that, I just saw this on a repeat, on a rerun. You know, the guy who invented that system was on Shark Tank, and none of the sharks took, you know, made a deal with the guy. And then he changed, <laughs> he changed the name of it, and then he sold the company, you know, a few years ago for like a billion dollars. A billion sure. dollars. All right, well, we, it's, a, it's a real service. Yeah. It's a real service. All right, we've got to take another break now. This is The Secret, how to fight CPS and win, and we'll be right back after these messages.